Hi everyone, a while ago I asked you guys to submit some questions for me to answer in a video for a Q&A video I wanted to make. And well, today I'm actually going to sit down and answer those questions that you've asked. Um, we have a good chunk of questions that I'm eagerly awaiting to answer. And I am very looking- I'm very much looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, really quickly though, uh, I wanted to mention that I, I do apologize if I butcher your usernames. Uh, usernames are something I struggle with a lot and sometimes I may not pronounce it right and I do apologize. But I, I hope you understand, they're a little bit tricky for me. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin! First question is by Guido Mista. I hope I said that right, let me know if I said that right. Uh, do you plan on having any kind of schedules for your streams? I'd love to keep up with your streams and support you. Uh, good question. I don't really have a set schedule too often. I kind of do it... I make my schedules on the weekend. Uh, so at the end of the week, on like Saturday, Sunday, depending on my how busy I am. And basically I'll make what I want to do for the week, starting with Monday. Uh, and then working my way to Saturday, kind of like a standard kind of schedule. Um, I typically stream every day right now due to my current situation, but that might change in the future when I get a new job, or could change in the future. I always post schedules on Twitter and on Discord. Uh, I post them on YouTube once, but I'm, I keep forgetting to do it, so mostly those two places. I have links to both of them in the description if you want to see that. Um, I will, every week I do post about them and try and keep people updated on when I'm live. I also, on Twitch, I'll go ahead and upload the schedule to the scheduling page on Twitch. So that way it's also there for you guys. And yeah, it's a little bit in the limbo, but I'm trying my best to get something consistent. I know I have a lot of international viewers that are from like Asia, Taiwan, uh, Germany, Vietnam. And I'm trying my best to appeal to everyone, but it's very hard with uh, being in the Eastern Time Zone. Because you guys, in the afternoon, it would be my morning. Like, 5 in the morning, and that's very hard for me. But I'm trying my best. Uh, I'm learning as I go along, but yeah, the schedules are a little bit random and how I'm feeling that week. And what needs to be done that week, as I have other priorities to do some weeks. But yeah, I hope that answers your question. Thank you for the lovely question. Next up, we have Pup. Papurin? Papurin? I hope I say that right. Do you have any planned collaborations for the future and do you have any dream collaborations like someone you'd really like to collab with? Uh, actually, like last week I actually did like my second collab. I've done two collabs so far. Uh, the first one was a group of friends, uh, Hat, Kuso, and Nocti. We did Mario Party and then last week I did a collab with Kuji VA or Kuji VTuber and Vinxv VTuber. Uh, we did a really long stream, uh, Kuji was doing like a 24 hour stream and I helped him stay awake for the first 12 hours of a stream, being my longest stream period. So, I've done that. I want to do more in the future obviously because they're very fun. And dream collabs. Um, I don't really have any plan, like I obviously I'm still very small and new, so I don't know many of the bigger people. I also don't really watch a lot of YouTubers period. So, uh, <laughs> I, I do apologize, like, I don't watch a lot of VTubers, but I guess one would be the person who got me into VTubing in the first place, which would be Sayu VTuber. Uh, he's, like, the voice actor of Yuri from Fire Emblem and Leon from Pokemon. So, he's the reason why I got into VTubing in the first place, and I guess that'd be a really cool thing to do. Um, but yeah, obviously I don't really talk to any of the bigger people, because I'm very small and new. But I, I guess if I had to pick one dream one, it would be him. <laughs> Thank you. Angel Cake asks, What is your favorite activity or hobby to do? I really enjoy your streams and love your VTuber design. Well, thank you. Um, my favorite activity and hobby to do... Uh, dumb, easy answer will be gaming. I'm a very big gamer. I hate the word gamer. I'm a, I'm a very big fan of gaming. Uh, I've been playing video games before I could even read, so... They've been a part of my life longer than most things in my life, so I'd say that. Um, but if you want an answer that's not that, um, I really like to um, collect Pokemon cards as of late. I'm big on collecting. I like to collect things. It's either a problem with me or just something in hate about me, but I just like to collect things. Um, and also back in high school and middle school, I played violin for seven years as one of my hobbies, and I'm trying to bring that back, but... 
Uh, I have to get a, my violin uh, fixed up because it's been four years since I've touched it. So, let's say like Pokemon cards, violin and music, and gaming are like my biggest hobbies to do. Obviously when I'm not streaming, I'm relaxing with the video game or watching YouTube. So yeah, thank you so much for the question. Thank you for the support. Alright, we got ourselves a big question here by Alison. I hope I'm saying that right. How do you plan on displaying your fan base as any drawbacks you have? You are having that big questions, dyslexic. Here we go. Any drawbacks you're having for being a new arising VTuber, such as organization and difficulties for socializing? What advice do you have to give who you want? What advice could you give to people that want to become content creators? To which extent are you willing to become a prominent VTuber of our age? Hope you're doing well and keep on doing the content that you make. La. Hope you're doing well and keep on doing the content you make since it's make quite that nah, I can't read. Hope you're doing well and keep on doing the content that you make since it makes a lot of people happy. Thank you. Um, to answer your first question, I'm actually not too sure what that means. Uh, how do you plan on displaying your fan base as? Uh, my fan base, I guess, is I want to create a like a safe environment for people to kind of interact and whatnot. Um, my I I. I'm like, I guess you could say like I'm PG-13, I swear a lot, uh, we make jokes sometimes, so uh, I guess maybe that's what you're asking. Um, any drawbacks to being a new rising VTuber? Uh, actually this is quite a lot of things I'm having to learn right away. I never expected to gain, and mind you I'm very thankful for this, but I never expected to gain the traction that I did. Um, back in June when I- or actually back in May when I did my, uh, reveal- model reveal. But, I'd say the biggest drawback is learning everything. Uh, like, I never learned how to fully use VTube Studio. Uh, promotion I'm not really good at still. Uh, consistency is something I'm still working at. Multi-managing my time is probably the biggest part of that. Um, like, a typical day for me would be wake up, stream, and after the four or five hour stream would be to edit, upload, reply to comments, read comments, uh, plan tomorrow's events, and then rinse and repeat uh, on top of my other priorities in life. So it, that, it's honestly organization of multi-managing is very difficult but very key for VTubing. And just content period actually, I take that back. But I say that would be my biggest struggle and also like connecting um i'm a very shy person typically i know like i'm a vtuber and i'm a content creator so i'm putting myself out there but like i am very shy so like reaching out to people for advice is very hard for me and yeah it's it's a little bit tricky for me and then what advice do you have to what advice do you have for up and coming content creators use other platforms um Make sure this is something you are passionate about and you are willing to invest a lot of time and money into because being a content creator is not cheap in my opinion and it is very time consuming and the payoff will not be right away for everyone. Obviously there's some people who are lucky enough to get like go viral on their first video but then there's people like me who have to work from the beginning and, and you'll work up there. Never get discouraged. Always figure out new things to innovate and come up with new ideas to keep things fresh. Um, oh god, I, may, I answered a lot of this in an interview I had, but just like never compare yourself to others. You are your own individual um, and someone else is their own individual. There shouldn't be a competition between us. We should all be working together to create content out there since we all kind of share the same goal in life and I don't really see a point in making this a competition as well. So I hope that answers that question. And then the last one is, to which extent are you willing to become a prominent YouTuber of our age? Um, I mean, ideally I'd like to be a big VTuber and big content creator because my whole life I wanted to be that. I wanted to be a content creator ever since I discovered, I think it was Rooster Teeth playing Minecraft on the Xbox 360. I was like, wow, that's so cool. I want to play video games for a living. So I'm going to keep working my ass off to keep achieving that goal. Uh, maybe one day, one day I'll be a part of something bigger and be bigger, you know. We'll look back at this video and be like, oh my god, he was such a baby back then. <laughs>
But thank you all so much for all those questions. I hope I answered them right. Thank you, thank you. Short Autumn, I hope I said that right. Uh, thoughts about mint chocolate. I've never tried one, but everyone tells me it tastes like toothpaste with chocolate chips mixed in. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. It's basically mint flavored with chocolate chips. It's pretty decent. I'm not the biggest mint flavor person. I only like it as gum. But mint chocolate, like mint chocolate chip, mint chocolate. Eh, could go worse than that. I think it's alright. <laughs> this is a bit of an interesting question for me, but... Angelica Rose Galgar, Galagar, my bad. How do you convince us to watch your stream slash videos? Like, how do you promote it? Um, I definitely don't convince people to watch my stuff. Um, if you are able to watch it, or if you want to watch it, be my guest and never force anyone to watch my stuff. Um, but I do appreciate those who take the time out of their day to watch whether it be my streams or my YouTube videos. But promoting is actually very difficult, in my opinion. And I don't even think I'm really qualified to answer this one. But I'll do my best. Um, personally, I always promote things on Twitter. Um, because that's a pretty good networking site for those. As well as, if you're a YouTuber, and you have access to the community tab like I do, uh, making sure you post there about your new videos is also a good thing. I am lazy sometimes, admittedly, and I never actually tell people to watch my VODs. Like, I upload the VODs and then I just kind of let people do it themselves. Uh, I'll make a, a post like every now and then be like, Hey, I uploaded some VODs to the channel. It'd mean a lot if you check it out. But, but yeah, promoting's hard. Um, one thing is you never want to force promote or come off as a robot. And by the first one, I mean like constantly telling people, Hey, watch this thing. Watch it, watch it, watch it, you better watch it. Don't do that. Don't be mean about your stuff. People will watch stuff that they want to watch, and if they're not interested, well, they're just not interested, and you have to figure out how to appeal to more people. As well as the second one being, don't come up with a robot, don't annoy people. Like, if you're in a Discord server and you promote your content, or you promote anything, like whether it be a tweet, or an announcement, or a video, or anything, don't come off as annoying, like don't do it multiple times a day, don't piss off people because what they're going to do is they're going to turn, they're going to mute you, and then they're going to mute your account, and then well, you just lost basically interaction because no one wants to see that and it's really bad, essentially. It's very tricky promoting because you want to come off as genuine, but you have to kind of come off as like, hey, you should check this out type of thing as well, so it's, it's really tricky to balance, I'm still learning myself, so I hope that helps. This is an interesting username. 1T00H? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? Um, I'm, I really like anything chocolate based, honestly. I love a good like chocolate milkshake or chocolate ice cream or chocolate bars. Um, anything chocolate, honestly, even cake. I'm pretty much devouring that. <laughs> yeah, I love anything chocolate, basically. And then a similar question, Matcha Majesty, if you had to pick only one dessert you could eat for the, your entire life, would it be cake or ice cream? That's a very good question because I love both very much, but I think at the end of the day I'm going to choose ice cream because while cake is really good, I feel like cake can get really repetitive, uh, especially if you have it a lot. Like, you ever have a birthday cake and you don't finish it because you're tired of eating it? And then it goes bad. At least with ice cream, if you get a little tired of eating it, you can put it in the freezer and it's good for like a long time. So probably ice cream, plus it has all the different flavors that you can do and it's less prep to get because you just... And it's cheaper. You just go to like an ice cream store or the ice cream section and just grab that while a cake's like $15 plus because they're very, very expensive. So probably that. It's... It's Yuki asks, what's your inspiration to become a VTuber and inspiration for the VTuber's design? Just wondering. Um, admittedly, I don't have much inspiration. I'm very creatively inept, meaning I, I struggle with creative things. Uh, like for example, like Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, it literally broke me down and made me freak out and give me a mini panic attack because of how much creativity the game asks, uh, asks of the player. But what I basically did is I got a bunch of reference pictures and ideas. Because I can't draw, for one. I'm not that- I'm not- I can't- I'm not creative, I can't draw. So in order to relay information to an actual character designer, I had to 
get like reference pictures of like male characters that I like. So I kind of just went on Google Images and looked up like male anime character, like male VTuber designs or male anime character hairstyles and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I kind of like how these eyes look, for example. So I'm going to take the eyes and ask to tweak it a bit so it's not a one-to-one -one copy. And then make it my own flair and whatnot and give it to the artist then. It's kind of what happened. I don't really have much inspiration for the design other than just picking a bunch of things I like that I kind of like and putting them together. Uh, the big inspiration for my stuff though is I wanted something Xenoblade related. So that's why I added the necklace and the symbol on my shirt. But other than that, I don't really have a lot of inspiration. It's kind of just all stuff I kind of thought of. I wanted like a young, I wanted a young male. And I wanted him to have black and purple as the colors, and here's then that's what I got. <laughs> Kaisel, Kaisel? I hope I say this right. Asked, "What motivates you to become a VTuber? You're really cute, and I love you so much. Well, thank you for the support. I really appreciate that. Uh, what motivates me to become a VTuber? Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said earlier, obviously before back in the day when VTubing was not a thing." I want to just be like a content creator, streamer, YouTuber, mostly YouTuber, because that's what I grew up on, but then streaming became a lot easier for me compared to YouTube, because streaming requires a lot less energy and commitment to. But I will say that the reason why I became a VTuber is not like many other people, I'd say, as a lot of people do it because they like anime or and whatnot. Like, I think that's one of the bigger ones is they like anime. And I like anime. It's it's pretty good. I like I watch some 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 of it sometimes. Uh, I don't get to watch it all the time because I'm very busy. But what made me want to become a VTuber was the privacy that it has, and the, ironically, the creative freedom I can have. With back when I did face cam streaming, I basically like allow like I would cancel streams because I didn't look good, or my room was a mess, or I wasn't really looking great. Like I wasn't that happy. So I kind of would look kind of like grumpy on the inside, basically. So I canceled a lot of streams because of that. I wasn't really happy being on camera because I actually have a fear of cameras, despite me being on a camera now, technically. But I didn't like being on a camera. I hate being on cameras. And not having to shower or look presentable also is very appealing as a VTuber. Uh, Cause you might just have those days where you're just not feeling it. And well, I still want to stream, but I don't want to have to take the time out of my day to make myself look presentable, look like kept up on stream because I don't want to look like a slob. So VTuber actually like makes me look a little like I can actually be happy with it, uh, especially without being on camera as well. Um, and what makes me want to be a VTuber like as the art is I just really think it's a cool and creative way to be yourself. Like you have all these characters that like represent you. And I'd say my character also represents me a lot, so... I want to represent myself and be happy while making content, because I was not very happy being a face cam streamer. Uh, I really wanted to find a way to not be on camera, but still show my facial expressions and my reactions to stuff. So I, I turned to the avenue of VTubing, because I thought it was very cool once I learned what it was. Because admittedly, I was very turned off by it at the start. But yeah, I hope that answers your question, and thank you. I am definitely going to say this one wrong, but... Abel Hinhi? I hope I said that right. As what's your favorite animal? Um, right now I actually have a really big soft spot for the Asian small clawed otter. I think they're super cute, and actually stupidly cute as well, and I really want one, or I want to I want to pet one one day. Uh, that's my goal. But for like normal animals that you can actually like have, I'd really want a corgi because I think they're also really cute as well. So definitely like a tie between the Asian small clawed otter and a corgi. Scar a moose asked, thoughts on pineapples on pizza? Ah yes, I've the, the long term debate. I'm actually very plain with my food. I, I don't actually really like to eat food actually. Uh, I like things pretty bland, I guess. Or kind of basic. So I actually have never had pineapples on pineapples on pizza before. But I mean, if you like it, cool. If you don't, cool. Personally, I would not do it because that kind of does not sound appetizing to me at all. So 
probably a big no for me, but I've never had it, so I can't really say for sure. I don't know. I don't have to say your username, but I'll just say Immerse. Ask what is your favorite game, and what is your favorite? What is your most used emoji, and what kind of food do you like to eat? So I actually answer them in reverse order. Favorite food to eat right now is um, actually a guilty pleasure of mine. I really, really like um, like udon. I I oh I shouldn't swear much. That's a lot of editing. I really like udon a lot. It's one of my favorite things to get anytime I'm out and about and getting like Japanese food, uh, as well as like sushi and tempura. I love all that stuff dearly. Um, I'm also a really big seafood fan, so like salmon, cod, um, shrimp, all that stuff. I really like. Uh, I can eat this stuff for days, basically. What's your most used emoji? Definitely the purple heart, as I have to use it a lot on social media. <laughs> And what's your favorite game? Um, as of recording this, it's Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch, but who knows, I might actually say Xenoblade 3 might be my new favorite one. We'll have to see. But as of right now, it's Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Sukiyami, I hope I say that right, asks, what are your goals? Um, my goal right now, actually we achieved a lot of my goals actually. Um, my first goal is to reach 10k on all my platforms, which are Twitch and YouTube, and we already did that. So our next goal is 50k. I want to shoot. I want to shoot big for this one. Uh, 50k on YouTube and 50k on Twitch. Uh, those are my first goals, and then I really want to try and aim to get a sponsorship or like a brand deal. I really want to try and get that to support my to support myself as well as give back to you guys with stuff. So I'm looking for those as well. And I also just really want to be a full-time content creator, hopefully by the end of the year or next year, hopefully. Uh, hopefully soon. But those are like my big goals right now is definitely 50k on the social medias, as well as becoming a full-time content creator. A asked, what's your favorite Pokemon and favorite Pokemon game? So to answer the Pokemon game one, my favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Platinum for the Nintendo DS. Uh, it's my second Pokemon game, I believe. I played Pokemon Diamond as a kid, but I couldn't read. Uh, it was before I learned how to fully read, so I got stuck in Jubilee Village with an Infernape. And I just, after I evolved into Infernape, I stopped playing because I didn't know what to do. But, a few years later when they released Platinum, I, my mom bought it for me, I think. It's been a long time. And it was the first Pokemon game I've beaten. And I absolutely fell in love with it. I think it's the best Pokemon game, period. It has some of the coolest designs, the best characters, the best world. Like, I just really liked it. As a kid, I fell in love with it. I'd spent hundreds of hours discovering new things and doing so many things. Like, I discovered Shaman through walkthrough walls, and I thought it was the coolest ever. Like, I found this rare Pokemon. I was so excited. So, yeah. Definitely um, Pokemon Platinum for sure. And my favorite Pokemon is actually Sylveon. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it's my favorite. Um, I just really like the evolutions and I liked the mystery behind it before it got released. Uh, and it's really cute and really good. Like, every time I play a game now that has it, I'm always using Sylveon. And it's usually my best Pokemon, so... Yeah, I definitely want to say Sylveon. Uh, it's also probably tied with Eevee, honestly. Because I really love Eevee as well. But yeah, th that's... Those, that, that. And then I think this will be the last question I have, as I don't want to make this too long of a video. But, Navy Davy asked, How does it feel to be a VTuber? And, it honestly feels kind of strange to think about. Honestly, because like, I don't know, like, I'm very, I, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. I've never been happier making content, but it's very strange at the same time, like, you have to do all these, like, I don't know, it's just... It's something to learn because like well, your whole life you kind of been learning like you content creators are in-person people and obviously they are at the end of the day but we get to also be this character that we want to be and I think that's really cool and like I don't think there's anything like it honestly right now and I'm very happy and fortunate to be a part of this and I really really help VTubing stay strong for the for, 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 for the foreseeable future. <laughs> So I think that's going to answer all the questions I have for today. If you'd like me to do this again, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think about that. As well as, I normally I'm not going to, I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but uh, if you did enjoy the video, 
Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, it lets me know that you enjoy the content as well as it'll help towards our goal of 50k as I really want to keep growing for you guys because you guys make my day. Um, without further ado, I think I'm going to close it off now. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.